Hit him with the hang. Uh oh. Copyright. Flag. Flag. You gonna get us flag, boy. You gonna get us flag, boy. It actually looks like we're drinking the same ones for All right. <laughs> Still Budweiser, though. Cheers. Crazy, boys. crazy week five. Best day of sports in recent memory, in my opinion. Woo! It was a wild one. So let's just start kind of roundtable discussion here. Monday headlines. Yeah. My headline from yesterday is the Chargers on fourth down. Just in incredibly large balls from Brandon Staley and the Chargers. So to set the scene, the Chargers have a fourth and two. They're on their own 24-yard line. There's 10 minutes left in the third quarter. They're already losing by two touchdowns. They decide to go for it. They get it. Later in the drive, they have a fourth and seven. They get that, end up scoring a touchdown to cut it to a six-point game. They went for two on that drive as well to turn a 14-point game into a six-point game. And, like, you're on your own 24-yard line for that fourth and two. If you don't get that, it's game over. The Browns – Walk in, score a touchdown. It's a three touchdown game, and it's how much time was uh, that's that? all she wrote. Ten minutes left in the third quarter. But if you if you punt it, you give them the ball, and they weren't able to stop them on the ground. So that might take seven minutes off the clock, taking time away. Yeah. And if they go down and get points, but it's still so I had to go for that one. If you're down they're 14. they're a lot more likely to score from your twenty four yard line than their oh, own right twenty five yard line. You know, and at that point though, oh. I think they're thinking too: if they score there, they're going to score quick at least. If they punt it. Punting was probably the last yeah. option because it's like if they punt it, fucking but they're going to take you say, you say that, clock. but we never see coaches make that type of a decision that backed up. Not in the third quarter, not early in the third quarter on your own 20 no, yard line. Not, not, you? not in years past. This year seems to yeah. be different with yeah. the fourth down calls, man. I, I like it. It's like Madden, man. But yep. I think this year it is different. I, I don't, you know, there's a lot of these younger coaches are like, fuck it, dude. Like we're, at that point, too, I, if you're a Chargers, you know, I wouldn't be pissed if we're going for fourth and two after seeing all the teams do it this year. Right uh-huh. there. You're down 14. You haven't stopped the Browns. Again, if they score from there, it's going to be a quick strike. So then you can maybe go down and, you yep. know. That's a good point. Down. Yeah. It, you're down three touchdowns, but it don't, there's still it eight took minutes only left a in minute. the third. Not, yeah, not five off the clock. So, but yeah. The Chargers are now 10 of 11 on fourth down this year which is an incredible stat. And Brandon Staley is now officially Randy Marsh for me. Balls in the wheelbarrow. That's, Just hopping along? That's Brandon Staley. Then, yeah, doesn't give That's a what fuck. I think yeah, of when yeah. I think of Brandon Staley. <laughs> and in, until it doesn't work, I mean, you know, we've talked about this, a li- like not this exact thing, but last week we talked about how the Chargers were more aggressive than the Chiefs, and it led – to the win you know they yep. they are clearly not afraid to go for it on fourth down yeah you know it, it'll be interesting to, to see the further we see some of these crazy uh decisions of staley is the kicker that bad or do they really just believe yeah, in dude. going for it on fourth down that you know, is interesting like i think it's, I, I, it's I, both. I couldn't blame the packers for never going for a field goal again after this week so yeah you know but I, you, you mentioned the chargers being more aggressive than the chiefs earlier this year the Browns had a situation where they had a third and 10. They were up by one point, I believe. This was like two minutes left in the fourth quarter. The Browns okay. the Browns are up by a point or two, third and 10, and they just hand the ball off to Kareem Hunt, and he gets two yards, and they, they punt it back to the Chargers. It's like that just shows you different philosophies on being aggressive. Like they yeah. don't trust Baker enough to just try to get a first down, right. third and 10 to seal the game. And it They'd was rather like- hand it off and – just let the defense take care of things. But it's like you don't like yeah, – right. And it's like you don't trust your defense – or you don't trust your quarterback, so you're going right. to trust your defense who's given up 25 yeah. fucking points or whatever in the mm-hmm. in the one quarter of play, man. So I, I – the weird thing about that was, man, I wasn't actually watching that game. I was off and on, and then I shut it off for a little bit. And on red zone, it was a three and out. And at that point, all the other games were so epic that it fast forward. We All I saw was a three and out, and I'm like, what the hell just yeah. happened on that drive? Yeah. Like. They took no time off the clock. It was a Browns, still a Browns. They haven't gotten past that shit yet, man. And it was a Browns move. 
It's like, how did yeah. you not take at least a minute or two off the clock there, man? Like when the guy missed the field goal, I still, it was still like, dude, the Browns still got to get points. They're not going to win by one. You know what I mean? We knew yep. that. So it, yeah. I'm worried about that going forward with the Browns. Is Baker just – is he not quite good enough to get that team over the hump? Because they have, a, they have Baker, such a good thing around. Like, you're saying it's the wideouts? They just don't have – They yeah. just got to get some game. talent out there, I mean, man. Because the running about, game is the best in the league, dude. It is. I've talked but about you that. you got to be able to throw the ball it. sometimes. You, you know, do. there's going to be and games do, where you're man. behind. They just, they, you know, we saw that happen in Tennessee in years past, and they addressed it with Julio. Now they're – He's hurt or whatever, yeah, but yeah. you know Odell's been a failure yeah, in it. Cleveland. The, since he's been there, they thought, "Oh, oh we yeah. can get Odell to come here. He's got his no. best friend Jarvis. It'll all be fine." We and knew he that. Had, he had a couple huge drops on third downs yep, that killed did. drives. I, I think take it's the fucking much, visor off dropping the you know, ball. Like you know that. Baker yeah. up before this week started was one of the most efficient passers quarterback. Accurate. He, yeah, he wasn't throwing any touchdowns. He wasn't throwing deep, but he was accurate. Which is all the Browns need, That's but what they without need. a yeah. single playmaker, it's kind of. I mean, Injoku seems to be Dude, their best. That's like their best weapon guy, on man. the outside right yeah. now. It's frightening. Yeah. All right, so let's let's wrap up with the Chargers talk there. Brad, what do you got for your storyline from yesterday? Cowboys are winning the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay, all right, we're yeah. going there. This is a yeah. is this first oh, take. Man. No, geez. <laughs> hey, all right. No, I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to yell. I promise. Okay. How much not yet. Give me a couple more pulls of that red cup. Yeah. Uh, I really all think that old line is getting – is healthy. They're out without Lil Collins because he tried to bribe a, a drug test official. He'll be back in a few weeks. What's wrong with that? Um, I mean, I've tried. It's, not, it's not until you get caught. Um, right. But just with that receiving core, Gallup's due back off the IR. They look like they have two legit tight ends for once. The t- kind of two-headed monster running back, Parsons is a stud on defense, and everybody's finally hyping up Trayvon Diggs like he deserves. They, they have enough talent, I think, that they can score with anybody. Yeah. So They're kind of like I, I the know. Bucks offense if the Bucks had a solid run game. Yeah. Yeah. They have the same yeah. kind of the caliber of weapons. I think the Bucks have better team, weapons. Yeah, the Bucks outside, are a more but, balanced team. Yeah. But in well, terms yeah. of – Well, just they have better receivers, I think. I, I, I'd take the Bucks core over – I would take a, – yeah. A.B.'s killing it. Oh, yeah. Man. He showed yeah. yesterday, dude, yeah. that he's not – nothing's changed. So, until him, him and Mike Evans and Godwin aren't on the same team, I don't know if there's a three – a better, you no. know, combo yeah. out there. It's the more league. that run game and when the – Cowboys yeah, actually you're right. remember I mean, I, to run the ball, yeah. which doesn't they happen every game. But. Better balanced uh, attack on offense, definitely. And that's Dak, man. He he, he yeah. runs that that play action kind of like Baker. Um, he's a lot is, better than Baker. So I guess it, neither. Wait, you so guys you're putting that in? Cowboys. Well, I'm I saying, are you putting it in? Block that in, dude. Yeah. That you could buy a new house. Fucking hey, Christ, maybe. man. Dude, are you kidding me? No, I would guess. I'm trying to check I on it now, but I would favorites. guess they're like I plus 900. Favorites. I, yeah. I say like 2,500, dude. That'd be, my guess would be plus 900. They got to yeah. be one yeah. of the favorites. I bet I they're, they're like a top than five that. pick. I no bet they're a top five way, pick. Yeah. man. Not All yet. Right. I don't. You, you got to remember it's yeah. Vegas. People love the Cowboys. You know, they throw a lot of money they at They love them. taking the Cowboys fans' money. That's yeah. what they love. NFC, yeah. it's tough for me. I think. You know, there's there's four like real Super Bowl contenders in the NFC in my mind, and it's Cowboys, Packers, Bucks, Cardinals, and the Cardinals. I don't even know if I'm all the way there yet on saying they're. But Super you're there Bowl with the contenders. Cowboys. I w- I do think the Cowboys legitimately are a Super Bowl contender. Oh, yeah. see, this over the crazy, over, then. you think like so? What would you put a like the spread in a Cowboys Arizona game? Um. I mean, they go to Arizona. No, play wherever, dude. I mean, wherever. Doesn't matter. Go to Jerry's World. Neither one of them. Well, actually, yeah. Arizona would be harder to play. Arizona's tough to play. Cowboys Stadium is a business fucking meeting. I think the, I think the Cowboys are four-point favorites at home, and if they go on the road, maybe Arizona gets two points. So I think Vegas okay. would respect it is the Cowboys. It'd be, yeah. Money line would be yeah. right there. It would be like yeah. a, a put, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's a fair. They, point. Yeah, I, I'd be yeah. interested. I want to see that matchup, man. That'd be great to like. That'd be just like we're lining up. Hopefully for that Chargers uh, Browns one, man, because that's the other one yeah. you brought up last week. I know All we right. have the number in that one. So Brad, or not the, the Browns Chargers. The uh, well, whatever the Bills Chargers. That's what I. Uh, that's what I meant. 
the Cowboys are plus sixteen hundred for this to win I, the Super Bowl right now. So that's like right in between kind of where I that. guessed and what yeah. Jimmy guessed. What yeah. was it? Sixteen hundred. Okay, sixteen yeah. to one odds. Yep. Yeah. I wouldn't mind that, dude. There is no fucking way. Put it down right now. The Cowboys are not winning the Super Bowl. They're just not. God, hey, just because they're asshole. the Cowboys? I just because Jerry they're Jones not. I, I just know it. Cowboys, I don't trust they're going to stay healthy. I don't trust – dude, there's yeah. a lot of factors. And I definitely don't trust, uh, trust Mike McCarthy. I know they have players on defense, but, again, injuries and shit. I, I'll be shocked, man. I'll be shocked. I'll be shocked if they win the – yeah. Good luck. Just win the NFC East, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. Talk. The Cowboys are that type of team that they could go 13 and uh, – it will be 13 and 4 now with the 17-game season. But then they have to play like a wild card team like Seattle that comes yeah. into their building round well, one. Seattle now yeah. trips Seattle's them up. Probably. Well, yeah, well that's part of my reasoning too with them, just because they're playing kind of such a soft division. It's just mm-hmm. you know where you think about the you know the West in the NFC. It's like they're literally beating the shit out of each other, knocking Russ out of games. You know, I don't mind that though because sometimes when you have to compete all year, dude, I know it beats you up. I think it just kind of but, exposes some like, of your look at look at, uh, well, look at the NFC or look at the AFC North over years past, how competitive the Ravens and Steelers have been. And that division yeah. beats each other up more than anybody. And they've they won do. Super yeah. Bowls out of that division multiple times. So I kind of like it when they, you know what I mean? I don't mind it. Uh, you know, I, I, yeah. I, I like it. I don't want to cakewalk the whole year. The Colts did that. When they had Peyton, they would start off like nine, eight, no, like yeah, multiple years, time. and they never fucking won because they didn't have a. They would face the well. The Patriots also had a guy up in the sky fucking filming every time yeah. Peyton was taking yeah. a shit yeah. or anything he was doing. But ears in the so, you know locker room, whatever. A, a team I forgot to mention in the NFC is the Rams. So Jimmy, you're not as high on the Cowboys as Brad and I seem to be. So who do you like more in between those teams to go far, the Rams or the Cowboys? Uh, that's a didn't they play each other in the playoffs last year? Didn't I think the Cowboys might have beaten them in the playoffs last year? I don't know, I don't remember, but um, it was just like it was an early round, you know. Maybe Seattle, the Rams might have played Seattle, and they I think the Rams them. beat Seattle, okay. and they lost to the Cowboys. No, well, and then they way, lost to Green Bay. The Rams, okay. the Cowboys didn't make the playoffs last year. All right, I don't know what, all right, I don't yeah. know why I thought that because Dak <laughs> well, was hurt, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it's all coming and, back to us. It yeah. was a long fucking Sunday. Yeah, it was like man, 15 yeah. hours of football. But um, <laughs> but no, dude, a I, lot think, of baseball. I think yeah. that'd be a good game. I just think, oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm not I even necessarily say, saying head to head. Just who, I would who had a better chance to go to the Super Bowl? The, the, would I would take, take the, Rams. the Rams over them. Yeah. As okay. long, again, given health, because with that, get, that gets hurt or Stafford, then you know what I mean? It, so, yeah. But I, I think anything in that. Yeah, I think with Donald and then you have Ramsey yeah. outside, I think that might even be better than having Diggs and uh, – and Parsons. The yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's a more established combination. You have to put three guys in game plan for Donald, and I don't know if yep. Parsons is to that level yet. So, Okay. All right. Jimmy, take the floor. What do you got for your Monday? How about that game last night, baby? Oh. I wish it would have been better. I wish it oh, would have been more no. competitive. We fucking blow. Oh, <laughs> dude, how Clearly about that? Clearly, they don't shit? like the rain, huh? The Josh That's Allen leap. Delay. The Josh Allen leap, baby. Holy shit. What a play. Mike Allstott esque, man. He went over him, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? Yeah, I the mean, hurdle dude. play was oh, sick. Oh, give me a break. No one's even talking about it today. I'm watching, listening to this shit. People are like, well, the chase are terrible. Dude, come on, man. They went in there and they beat their fucking ass, dude. And they proved, like I've said, the Chiefs can't stop a fucking cold. They can't stop shit. They've allowed 29 points in all five games this year. Worst in the fucking league. 437.4 yards a game. Second worst to Seattle's 450. And what division yep. do they play in? Playing a little bit tougher fucking, you know what I mean? Tougher teams. Dude, it's hilarious. And, my, and your boy. Our favorite player, man, Sorensen, a killer out yeah. there. He, they got to just get him out of the game. What are you talking, like, just get him out of the game. No, no, keep him in. He flexes after he gets big sacks and shit, dude. He's jacked. I don't think, you know I, I have, don't remember the last time I saw him well, get a sack. He, no, he flexed. It was when they stopped the punt return or the fake punt against the Titans or whatever in the AFC championship. Yeah, game or whatever. he made a special and teams tackle. Him yeah, get him tackle. back on special teams. Yeah, yeah. There dude, you go. Yeah. 
It uh, says here his uh, QBR uh, was uh, like so the QBR of the against him, right? Like the quarterback against yeah, him. I was looking this thousand. number up. No, it's uh, but it's one twenty seven point nine on fourteen uh, receptions against him this year, which is the highest of his career. And I looked the rest of that shit up. Hold on here. Uh, and so in 2019, uh, it was 65.3. So, dude, he's gotten way worse. Man. He's yeah. gotten. He doesn't belong I, out there. No, he really I think doesn't. The white boy is finally starting to catch up with him. But, uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, man. And I also think that one dude, uh, Gregory, Greg, Greg Rasuo, Rasau, whatever. He was a first round pick yep. for the fuck. And dude, he made the big tip so- pick. Yeah. And you could tell they drafted to play that team. They're like, we need you to be the athletic freak outside. I think he played fucking – I was watching something. He played like a uh, wide receiver in high school or something. Dude, he yeah, was like they a had a big athlete. highlight package for That him. was where well, – during the game. Yeah, yep. all right. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I thought the defense – the defense looked terrible. Plus he's like fucking 6'8 or whatever. Yeah. And it's starting – to make Mahomes look human, dude. Like you can do all that freak show shit when your defense can, you know, keep you in the game. But dude, when they're just getting run, yeah. Through that, Josh Allen just did whatever he wanted last night. He would drop back and just be like, "I'm running, fuck it." Yep. And it's so. a snowball effect too because Mahomes knows how shitty the defense is right now. So then he's trying to do too much, throwing trying uncharacteristic to picks. Yeah. I mean, it, people, it, the Chiefs fumble the ball a couple times a week. It's just they're sloppy as hell. Yeah, dropping passes. Tyreek had a few drops, man. It gets in everyone's head to try yeah. to you're trying to move before you catch it. And uh I fucking loved it. Oh, yeah. oh, it was beautiful. And all the Chiefs fans, thank you for staying after the rain for an hour, getting loud for no fucking reason. I, I actually heard was- I don't even know if this is true, but I heard they wouldn't let people leave the game because there was a it was like danger. It was the like weather was safe to too leave. dangerous to leave. It's like how the uh, fuck are you gonna like, like hold like, somebody? Shit. Hostage. Hostage. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, let's get off of that. That's that's irrelevant. I, honestly, I don't think the Chiefs make the playoffs. I have them losing eight. I don't. Games. You say honestly before that. You you actually believe I, it when you I, say it. I, I've, I, I've gone through their schedule. Yeah. You I actually believe have, it. They have three losses now. Correct. Yeah. I think yep. they have five more losses on their schedule. Yep. I, I would I, put I, them be, at ten and seven. Right. They, no, that would put them no, at nine and eight. Nine and eight. Yeah. yeah, you know, there's no have, way they obviously have Washington this week, but the way Tennessee's playing, I don't think they beat Tennessee the week after. They still get the Packers. Dude, Tennessee's defense Tennessee is at? worse than the Chiefs, arguably. Where do they got Tennessee at? I think in Tennessee, they got Green Bay, they get Where Gruden at? twice, they get <laughs> Dallas, they get the Chargers, Steelers, and the Broncos twice. Yeah, they're getting some. T- I mean, Broncos, who yeah. knows what you're getting there, but. It is at Titans. They're at well, those, Washington. Those at are really Titans. late in the year, too. The yeah, I, 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 I think they, you know, the tough schedule, weak nah. defense, chocolate eclair getting hurt. He's out at least a, probably a week or two. They said yeah. it's an MCL sprain. Um, that might be good for them. I don't that it's that old. It's offensive line. You know, Orlando yeah. Brown last night, who was their big saving grace. They paid a lot to get him out of Baltimore. Baltimore really thought he was a right tackle. He refused to play right. Believe he's only a left. Had mm. two or three holding penalties. I know last what night. I am. <laughs> he lo- he looks fat. He looks slow. He looks not. You're a good place. over here. No, I know though. Um, no. But listen, and, and it's me- just it's like where's the fix gonna come from? There's no third weapon that's gonna emerge. There's no defensive pass rusher that's gonna magically pop up to help him. It's now, just well, I, they I can see- they can take care of like not fumbling the ball two they or three times. They can be more efficient game, on offense you know? entirely, but defensively, I don't see where they can get any better like get Sorensen out dude there the were times in the last night when they needed to make a stop and like the at the end they had kind of gotten something going you know and the fans were getting loud and um yeah and Josh Allen would just run for fucking five you know they've given up the most uh rushing like they yards didn't watch any quarterback game too man yeah. yeah it's dude I have yeah the number I fucking I, this was like I, I told Matt it was like reading holes for the first time like it was, I, I hate reading all this yeah. shit, but when it's the Chiefs losing, I was like, oh, I'll put that down. I <laughs> think it's fucking gold. I dude. think them missing the playoffs is a little bit, it's a little bit too early to go there. Oh, well, that's the same guy that said the fucking Dallas Ooh. Cowboys are yeah. winning the Super Bowl. But yeah. I also, I, I like, you know, after seeing what Cincinnati did uh, with the Packers, yeah. I like the I Raiders. Get, so yeah. I really think it it's going to come down to that seven spot for the Chiefs. And I don't think they're going to get that spot. Yeah. I'm ready to talk some bangles later on as well, but All right. so is that enough chiefs talk? You got any more numbers there, Jim? 
Uh, I got a few, but I don't <laughs> you, know. Your numbers were actually nicer than mine. No, the I one thing up. actually, though, is now they did worse. have – they've had that uh, – the cornerback's been out. They've had some, you know what I mean, whatever, Ward, like uh, Chris Jones. They fucking – Chris Jones hasn't played. He's had to move around. I was – they, you know, they've moved Yeah, they tried playing him at the end. Than, yeah, Didn't it's work. not really working. But they don't Just have shows anyone – desperate they, they don't have anyone inside rush. to do yeah. it, so they don't know what to do. And so that's where, you know, I actually kind of respect – um, what's their coordinator's name? Spags. You know, um, Spags, Spagnola. Yeah, he's a – but – when you don't have any talent or whatever, I, I just don't know how Andy Reid has this thing of just, yeah, he uh, defensive players, man. I don't know. It's weird. Well, putting it all on, on Patrick. And well, and like the matchup showed last night, the Bills did absolutely everything they could to fix what their problem was last year. They right. couldn't rush the passer. Their yeah, defense man. wasn't quite good enough. So they just got great point. They have like a stable of defensive linemen. They can yeah. just bring into the game. They played like eight or ten defensive linemen last They're just night. Getting better yeah, and better and better. Them in and, and, out. and I'm, it's showing more and more that that was a fluke game. That yeah. first game of the year, and they oh, hundred percent. They're for real, yeah, dude. Absolutely. They're not well, that, going anywhere. That D line is kind of like the Niners was a couple years. I'm pretty sure they've mixed and match three, three, fucking well, three first, first rounders. rounders in yeah, too, man. you know, and yeah, a handful of high draft picks. All, it's just yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that dude, yeah, they got it. And then the Chiefs added nobody on defense of significance and free agency or and in nobody the on offense yeah you They're know mccall hardman that. got the ball nine times in this last game he didn't break anything you know yeah he's supposed to be like tyreek hill jr yeah hardman has been a letdown he's he hasn't gotten any better since he was a rookie he's the before same exact get, guy before we get on to yeah he has it's just been fast um yeah. before we go to the next topic too there was a clip at the end i don't know if you guys saw of travis kelsey just like in shot, like he yes. had already gotten smashed in the head. That wasn't because he got knocked the, the camera, fuck out. Like, he was actually no, but he no, was, but he was just like, I can't believe, can't believe like, what okay. I'm seeing. He, like he the was crowd, kind of it's just yeah, yeah dude. Okay. He he looked yeah. like holy shit, what is happening right now? Is yeah. this the end? We're human. I know exactly the shot yeah. you're talking about. Yeah, I yeah, love that. I, that. I wanted to do that. Was like I want to fucking frame that. This fucking best thing I've ever seen. Well, and to just get dominated and to get kind of smacked in the mouth like they did. You know, yeah. lose your running back. Kelsey takes that smack. Yeah. Good night for Bills yeah. fans. All right. So that wraps up our Chiefs talk. Not necessarily because when we, we have a topic here in, a you know, a minute or two where the Chiefs will be part of that discussion. But Not in my conversation. Week five recap. Not a great week by any means. Brad, you were one, five and one. Oof. One push, Jimmy. You were one five and one. One push. I was three three and one. We all pushed on the Packers minus three. Okay, they won we might want to cut uh, the the recapping of picks because it doesn't seem to be <laughs> yeah, going <they> well. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, it's honestly, though, no, I was going through it. They, they were like all ballsy picks. It was like, well, Jimmy had like, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Yeah, Jimmy has Cardinals money line and the over. Well, the over didn't hit, so it fucked that one up. Jimmy had the Browns money line, which I told him was stupid, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they weren't close to winning that a game. Different day. They never had a chance. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Anyways, that's that stuff's boring. Yeah, Nobody cares that yeah, much right about on. our picks. Great yeah. new games, though. but well, good games every. Yeah, yeah. that's that. Twelve o'clock. The uh, witching hour on Red Zone was fucking awesome yesterday, man. That was yeah. one of the best I've ever seen. Yeah, my blood. My mom was on texted cocaine. me. I told yeah. you that. My mom texted me and goes, "Quad box is getting crazy right now, yeah. or whatever." <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "What?" And she was like, "I just heard him say that." I was, I thought you'd be laughing. I was like, "Yeah, it's fucking awesome." <laughs> She's like, right. "Crazy quad box or something." Man. This is dope, man. It it yeah. was, yeah, it was. The new games were epic. Red Zone. And then that Chargers, the what was it? The Bengals Packers game carried over a little bit into the three o'clock games because it was going into overtime. Yeah. yeah. And then the in the second half of the afternoon games, that Chargers Browns just turned into a freaking touchdown every other minute. Yeah, dude. it was crazy. The Browns had the formula to beat them, and then uh, your boy just started doing things, man. And it, they couldn't. They just got again. It's just, I've seen the Browns. I like them, man. But they get away from that ground and pound. Yeah, they, they don't get like like they have it going, and then they run for like yeah. you know the Chargers score. They go up fourteen to finally Chargers get seven, and then they're like, oh shit, 
we don't get a first, we don't get five yards on our first run. So then they try to throw it, they get sacked and then it's third and 13 and then they're fucked. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like they get out of that. It's like, just stay confident. You got the best running game in the league. I don't really like what I have seen out of Baker. I just don't think he's like, I, I'm not saying he's a bad quarterback and they need to find a new one. I just don't think he's actually good enough to win, you know, two or three playoff games and get him to the Super Bowl. Uh, I really don't. I, I still think there's more. I, to be I disagree because I, I think, you know, kind of the main thing of being a competitive playoff passer is completion percentage. And, and yeah. I, I think he fits our offense perfect. He yeah. just fits it a lot better when you have Odell playing like Odell played in New York and you have healthy Jarvis yeah. Landry. I think Odell um, definitely I, did fuck him over yesterday. He doesn't yeah. have – um like, and the good thing, like, about him, man, that, like, a lot of guys you see, you're just like, no way, because he just – he doesn't turn the ball over that much, though. So, it's like he does have that. Like, he has that – and like Brad said, the completion uh, percentage or whatever is – you know, he can run an efficient offense, but yeah, he's not going to be, he's not going to be the, he could win a Super Bowl in the same way that Eli Manning won a Super Bowl. Like he'll be right. a manager, you know, and yeah. that's a compliment because Eli yeah. Manning's probably a Super Bowl or a, a Hall of Famer, but yeah, but yeah, I think he can make the throws. He just does it. He's not going to win the game for you. He's not going to, you know, be a Mahomes or whatever. Yeah. And they're just built, you know, they're not built like the Bills or the Chiefs, you know, some of these teams that, their defense just seems to get they, their head you know, out of their ass. I don't understand it. You should have one of the best pass rushing tandems in the league in Cleveland, and you can't get to Herbert enough, and you let him yeah. score 47. I mean, I, that offense is explosive, but 47 is embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. So in the AFC, I see six, like, surefire playoff teams, and you guys are going to disagree with one of the teams I got in which is the Chiefs. But these are the six teams I got as locks for the playoffs in the AFC. It's Browns, Ravens, Chargers, Chiefs, Bills, and then the Titans, because the Titans are in the AFC South. I see them winning that division. So that's six. There's seven playoff spots. There's an absurd amount of teams like just hovering outside of that top six. And it's Bengals, Broncos, Raiders, Patriots, Steelers, and Colts. And out of those six teams I just mentioned, I have no clue who is, like, the best bet. I, I said the Bengals, based on what I saw from them yesterday and in other weeks. They got a good defense. Um, they can run and throw the ball on offense. I just think the, the Bengals have less of a glaring weakness than a lot of these other teams. Like the Raiders, I don't really. I think their Are you first confident three weeks in the Bengals defense, screen. though. I mean, yeah, I, I am. In my, in, I in actually am. List, I I have the Bengals as a lock. Like I don't even have them in consideration for this pick. Yeah, I, I think with what you're seeing with that passing game, if Joe Burrow doesn't let himself get hit and almost knocked out like he did this past week, that's a pretty good offense. I mean, <laughs> what a those dumb rest- play! Oh. I mean, he's. I can't believe he doesn't have a concussion. That, yeah, I was so surprised but, that he came back in the game, and then when you I see him come back, sure he was... rifles that one to Jamar Chase <laughs> yeah. for Chase. a touchdown. Dude, yeah. it's like holy fucking. Their shit. defense and then, was the defense is yeah. like, what the fuck? No yeah. way, man. It's, we played him like what? We just killed like, him. Like he could have yeah. been dead. <laughs> the only way he couldn't he he away was a lot of come back. It's because really there's did. no legal hits, like because we can't hit him illegal. Like, yeah, they're like, man, if I didn't have to hit him, we, oh man, this is 1995. He'd have been his career would have been over. He'd be working at Kinko's. So, Brad, that you connection. said the, you'd have the Bengals in, and then you would have the Chiefs out, and then what? Which one of these other teams you got? The the Patriots, the Raiders. So the I'm Steelers? I'm going. I, I'm just reading it down in no order: Chargers, Bills, Ravens, Titans, Bengals, Raiders. And then I have the Steelers actually taking the seventh pick. I don't think the Browns are uh, good enough. I think they're going to continue to falter. I think it's the Steelers wow. that take the seventh spot. I think uh, that yeah. whole nobody's talking about their whole offensive line is brand new. You know, to lose your starting left tackle and your starting center and Villanueva and Pouncey with an immobile quarterback like Big Ben, that, that's bad news. So as long as Big Ben can stay relatively healthy, I just think with when that running game gets going, with that talent on the defensive end, it's it's a scary team. I know. Wow, that's. I know. I know Juju's out, but I I do. I like the Steelers. I, 
you know, they seem to be a weird team week to week, but they have some big wins on their schedule already. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you walk into a bar and you tell somebody the Steelers are going to make the playoffs and the Chiefs aren't, I mean, people yeah. are going to be like, what the fuck did Then that- they're going to say, oh, and the Cowboys are going to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. All right. Brad's full of just. Hey, I'll tell rifles you. Rifles two today. or three. They're both two All or right. three. Jimmy, so- who. Who do you like for that seventh playoff spot, considering the teams I assumed right behind you? Yeah, dude. And I'll tell you what, we get we don't have a tough schedule. We got we got the Raiders, we got the Browns, we got Washington, we have the Cowboys, we got the Eagles, we got the Chargers, Chiefs, Lions, Bengals, Raiders, Chargers, Chiefs. Yeah, that Chargers closing twice stretch is twice. Tough. Yeah, it's tough, but um I'm interested, man. And I'm just doing it because I'm a fan, and this is just a fun segment. We're wrapping this part up anyway. So it's like the Broncos could, man. And I actually – I know we lost two in a row, but, man, the first game I was really excited because we're going to see what we got going against the Ravens, and we got hurt, man. And so Teddy Two Gloves showing up yesterday. He actually played decent, man. We got down early, but we gave up one – we gave up a touchdown that was, I think, the second on red zone that day, which the first, yeah. I almost got it. It was the, the Titans, Titans touched by the yeah. defense, man. Yeah, I was going nuts when that happened. But, <laughs> um, but no, I think that uh, we actually, we, dude, we came to play yesterday. Like, people see the score, and they're like, oh, yeah. And people forget, too, man. We were playing the Ravens when they had to win. Not had to, but, you know, they were trying to prove themselves after beating the Chiefs and, like, trying to prove they're not bullshit. And the Steelers with Ben Roethlisberger and Mike Tomlin, they had. It and it was a must for, win for the Steelers. They had yeah. to win, yeah. dude. If if they lose that, they're gonna maybe bench. You know, it's like, dude, that people. You know, it's like, oh, the Broncos lost to the Steelers. It's like, dude, that Steelers team had everything in the world to play for. We we had a lot to play for, but we lost by. You know, it came down to the final play, just like the Broncos. We had no timeouts. Right. <laughs> we well, and I think people forget line, too but. that that you know, and I think even you do at times that. Judy's coming back at some exactly. Point no, I know. Dude. You know that week that, eight or so he should be back. So you know if you can be even a five hundred team until yeah. that point. Sutton had a big day I yesterday mean, against a good defense, and it wasn't just it wasn't just garbage time points because we weren't ever no. down by that much. We actually competed with them. It was just one of those that it got out of hand early, and we were it felt one as a fan like we were just never in it, you know. But well, I will say we competed, and I think you know. We still got the Raiders. We said we got the Raiders twice. So that could you be think up. they'll get more aggressive? You know, that's always they're been better, my, man. my they're biggest better. complaint with the Broncos yeah. offenses. First they're half, better. they're like the most boring, bland. They look like the Chicago Bears. Yeah. And then they come out in the second half and they're throwing 35 yard play action passes yeah. and they're and dude, running like Bridgewater creative. It's let him eat. I don't know, yeah. man. Yeah. It, that that Broncos Raiders game next week is a, be a big one. Another real big one. Yeah. Yeah. We'll Those teams the is the first one, it's in Denver for our first one with them, which I like because people, you know, fa- you can say what you want about home field advantage, but players have actually said at Denver there is a home field advantage because of the, the air and all that shit. So, yeah, you know, Gruden will have some speech on that. Well, and you, not, have, you have a little advantage always with McManus at home, too. I mean, because outside yeah. of Tucker, he's probably the strongest leg in the league. Yeah, probably the only dude that hit that record. But yeah, you know, I would so. say. But I like your pick. My my real like Broncos are the hope, obviously, and I really believe they can do. They they could make it. But the Steelers also, I think, would be the Steelers. See, I they. I've seen enough from Big Ben. I know what he kind of had so a good day impressed. yesterday. Yeah. Big Ben. It's just as simple yeah. as that. He's not going to get it done this year, dude. I don't even know if he finishes the year. I really don't. It looks that bad when you sit down and watch a Steelers game. It's almost I watched, like sad. No, I watched the whole game yesterday. Yeah, I and yesterday, and I don't know if they gave him some drugs, some speed before the game, what it was, but like, well, he really ben just has, hit one throw. But I mean, you're looking yeah. at these other teams. None of them, the Raiders, like the Colts. No, I like the Bengals because like, Joey Burrow, yeah, yeah, and then that cool. Bengals defense is like better than anybody would expect. And they they made the, some um, good I'd additions. In their the secondary is pretty solid. They, yeah. Yeah. No, he got hurt. Okay, I'm th- the Browns beat the Steelers in the playoffs last year, right? In the wild card yeah. round, I think. Okay. Yeah, because they beat them to get into the playoffs, and then they beat them again. Yeah, once they were. Yeah, fans. they had to get yeah. in. All right, yeah, man, yep. yeah. Well, and Matt, wouldn't you agree, though, that the Steelers' defense has another level they can go to? You know, they're giving up like 24 points a game at this point. I just think they should be a top-10 defense. That, I don't think that's you know, enough anymore. I just don't no, think it's enough nowadays. I just think with that 
Uh, yeah. Like you can't uh, well, hope for a, a top defense to get you to the playoffs. Let's wrap there. We're about yeah. out of time. We'll come yeah. back and we'll hit you guys Fucking with some AFC. trivia. Hit them with yeah. the height. Burp.